Good morning and welcome back to my channel and welcome to the Italian countryside. Woo! If you're new here, hi, my name is Alex. I'm a digital nomad and I spent my time between LA, Italy, Mexico, and other amazing parts of the world. This town here is one of my home bases here in Italy. I've been coming back here every year to live here for about a third of the year and it is so amazing to be back. So if you're wondering how the hell did I end up living in this medieval castle, <laughs> my partner is Italian, he grew up here. His family is one of seven families that moved to this tiny castle town outside of Bologna in Italy just after World War II. And for generations, these seven families have been living in this kind of tight-knit community, commune, whatever you want to call it. And it's just such an incredibly special place that we come back to every year to really like live slowly and have uh, a beautiful pace of life. Ciao, Gavity! Solo io! So yeah, it's a very beautiful, tight-knit community. As you can see, people just walking in and out of each other's homes, having lunches and dinners together, uh, especially during the summertime. Everyone's always outside here in the shared spaces, hanging out with one another, playing games with the kids, just enjoying each other's company. So I wanted to share with you all what it's like living here. It's a beautiful, slower pace of life, which for me personally, as a girl born and raised in Los Angeles, was definitely an adjustment. You know, I'm used to having all of my amenities within walking distance or in, you know, maybe like a five minute drive. Here we're not super remote, like we're actually only 25 minutes from the Bologna city center and there are um, some smaller towns like you know a 10 minute drive away where you can access a lot of the things that you need so it's not super remote I think the hardest thing for me personally which is really on me like I don't drive stick shift which is tough because a lot of the cars here are stick and it's been really challenging for me to learn how to drive stick I don't know what it is it makes me incredibly nervous and I'm someone I pride myself on being able to learn things quickly anyway side rant stick shift <laughs> not the jam so I tend to be dependent on other people to get around make plans things like that which can be a little frustrating sometimes but as someone who grew up in the city I really didn't appreciate how healing for the soul like slow living can be stepping outside your door and being immersed in nature we're basically on the edge of a regional park where you can go hiking you can see all kinds of nature and animals the silence and the, the peaceful sounds that just surround this place 24 7 being able to walk outside and see beautiful historical buildings I mean this castle was built in 500 AD and a lot of the original structures are still preserved and all of the homes like the home I'm living in you know has parts of it that of course were destroyed in the war but parts of it are original. It's an incredibly special place. It's incredibly unique and I feel so thankful and honored to to be able to be part of this community. So I want to show you all what it's like. I'll take you around, show you the beautiful grounds, show you how we kind of adopt this slow living lifestyle. <laughs> Okay, so Pietro's mom was just explaining to me that not all pastas are created equal. This is a pasta di granaio, EGP. It has this special symbol, which means that it's made in the traditional way pasta was made, like back in the day, before all the machinery. That's what we're having today. 
for lunch. Peperoni. Olio. Olio, sale, sale. un po' di menta. Menta, capri, capri, aglio. Questo è aglio? Sì. Ok. Questo è un sugo comunque di tino. Mm, sì, io ne sono fatto così. No, no. no. to take a little afternoon sunset walk down one of the hiking trails out of the abbey it's absolutely beautiful this time of day this is one of my favorite parts of the slow country living that i was talking about just being surrounded in nature has been so peaceful as you can see <laughs> my home is up there uh, and then surrounding it is this beautiful regional park that just goes on for miles. <sighs> Even just stepping out here for like 10-15 minutes is so grounding, so peaceful. I just, I want to do this more often. And you know, I try to do the same thing in LA when we're there. Um, you know, I, I like, I try to do this kind of thing everywhere I travel in Los Angeles. I often walk to the beach and hang out there and it's beautiful and yes, you know, that is a, a different kind of nature that is incredibly grounding for me. Water is, water and the ocean is very grounding and spiritual for me, but it's still busy. It still has that city heartbeat that, uh, you know, a lot of things are going on around you so it can be tough to really unplug, but this kind of just humbling and consuming nature around you, around your home is really another level. <laughs> and yeah, it's beautiful. This is definitely my favorite time of day here. And this is the entrance back home.
Alex. I just wanted to take some time to close out the vlog here and thank you so much for watching. And I hope that you are enjoying my travel videos, that you follow along on all of my adventures through Europe this summer. I can't wait to show you what I get up to traveling Italy as a local. That's really for me the key to traveling is, you know, connecting with local people that can show you their way of life. And I'm really fortunate that my partner obviously uh, knows Italy very intimately, knows it really well and we get to see a side of Italy that I think not a lot of people get to see. So I'm excited to show you what you know that authentic dolce vita lifestyle is like so so if you're not already please hit the subscribe button it really helps my channel grow and it helps me bring more videos to you all each and every week i post new videos every week so until next time bye